day we go through multiple choices that lead down multiple paths in the infinite space of the world within us. It can blur our intentions and fog our clarity on what is good versus what is easy. We are complex beings that can't turn off the limitless potential our brains create within ourselves. So it is important to understand what the heart, the head, and the gut are saying to us. And that we know where our decisions are coming from. If we pay attention, we can watch our choices unfold a path of intentional living before us, instead of letting our impulses and fears dictate these paths. This meditation requires a situation that has two outcomes. But if you think of more ways your path could unfold, that's okay too. So find a comfortable position, close both eyes, and open your third and allow yourself to relax and settle into your body. This is a time to rest, to recalibrate, and connect to what it is you truly want for yourself. Now with your breath, pull in the light of the universe around you. And in your own time, exhale your light into the space around you, expanding your heart center. In with the light, and out with the light. Naturally, as you bring this light into you, the scattered energy that is not yours will dissipate and release on its own. As you breathe out your light, let it fill the room around you. Breathe in deeper, the energies from beyond your vision that can support you at this time. Breathe out slower, any physical, spiritual, emotional tension remaining along with your light. mind's eye, you'll see a door in the room with you. Notice its color, what it's made of, and any symbols or words that may be on it. It's locked, but the key is somewhere with you, in your pocket, in the room, or even already in the lock. Notice which key you hold. And as you turn the lock and open the door, you will see nothing but light. A blank white space pouring into the room, not blinding, but welcoming you into this space. Walk through this door, close it behind you, and allow yourself to be immersed in this light. a situation that you have been indecisive with. No matter the size of the burden it may hold on you, or how small you may think it is, it has popped into your head for a reason. This situation can be short-term, long-term, or a decision to step into who you are to your core. Now with this situation in mind, notice the tension in your body in response to it. Where does the resistance in making this decision exist? Where does the anticipation in making this decision exist?
Give yourself a moment to feel these sensations and breathe into them. Exhale them from your body. As the white space around you fades, you will notice that you're someplace else. It could be a place that exists in your happy memories or someplace completely new and created by you. Looking down, you'll notice a path you're on. Notice what it's made of and follow where it leads you. Along this path, the scenery could change. You might notice subtle differences, even animals, people, or guides coming into view. As you walk along this path, feel more deeply into being there. If you're outside, let the wind caress your face. Feel the earth beneath your feet. If you are inside, notice the airflow. If it is stagnant or moving. Warm or cool. Feel your surroundings with all your senses. Connect to this space. Now with your situation in mind, think primarily of two different decisions you can make. As you continue down this path with these options in mind, you'll notice that your path divides in two. Stand here in stillness and watch as the two signs emerge. Think of the first choice of the situation and notice which sign reflects this choice. Which path does it point to? Now think of the second choice of your situation and watch it appear on the other sign leading towards the other path. If any other paths emerge, you can always come back to this point again to revisit it. For now, pay mind to these two options. Notice if the paths look the same. Are they made of the same material, whether brick, stone, soil, or sand? Or are they different? Does the scenery look the same? Does it shed the same light? You'll notice at this divided fork in your path, a bench appears facing you. As you take a seat on it, you'll notice the path you have just walked through, the one path. Think of how you felt on this path so far. What is it you enjoyed about this path? about your time leading up to this decision. And what is it that you felt was lacking about this path? Behind you, emerging from one of your paths, you can hear footsteps. Notice their pace and which path you can hear them coming from. As you turn your body to see, you can find a future version of yourself that has traveled down this path. Notice how they look, what they wear, what expression they have, 
and how much they carry with them. Allow this version to sit with you and speak to you about their experience. Don't try to think of what they would say. Just sit and be open to listening. How do you feel about what they're saying? Use this time to ask any questions or receive any other answers from this version of you. Notice if they have any gifts or symbols or anything that they would like to pass on to you. Notice the significance of this. Thank them for their time. And now as they slowly disappear back from the path they came from, Listen to the footsteps that emerge from the other path. What pace is this version of you walking at? As you turn and find them approaching you, notice their expression, their appearance, and how much weight they carry with them. Now give this version of you a chance to explain their experience. And again, don't try to think your way into receiving messages. Just allow them to share their experience. How do you feel about their experience? Ask any other questions you may need to know about this path and allow for their answers to come through. Pay mind to whether or not this version has a gift or a symbol for you. As you finish your conversation with this version of you, allow them to walk back from the path that they came from. Having both gifts, both conversations with these different versions of you, take some time to consider what your gut pulls you towards. Which path just flickered before you? Following the gut's reaction, usually the mind comes in with a response. What does your mind say?
How do you feel about what the mind says? And now for the heart. Take a moment to breathe into your heart space. What is the heart believing is true? Both gifts and symbols, if you received any, will stay with you regardless of the decision you make. And oftentimes this path may reoccur in different circumstances. But opening dialogue between all parts of you will make these decisions feel less of a choice between right and wrong, and more of a choice between what feels right for now. So with that being said, find yourself walking down one of these paths. Let the ground beneath you fill you with confidence in your choice and understand that there's always a reason for why we choose the things we do. Along this path, the same door you came through appears once more. When you are ready, open it and find yourself back to the room you are in. And step back into yourself. Breathe in this new air, this new essence of what lays ahead. And find comfort in knowing that you are always being guided to what best suits you. As long as you remain open to yourself. Now wiggle your toes and hands. Roll your head slowly and feel your way back into your body. I hope this meditation has brought you peace. Thank you for being here today, for choosing to take some time for yourself.